Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the XLOOKUP function in Google Sheets. XLOOKUP is pretty similar to the commonly known VLOOKUP function, but it was added as a function to Sheets only a few months ago. So in our example, we have a set of shoe stores with certain data points about them, the year they were founded, sales revenue, manager, country, city, etc. Now, you would use XLOOKUP in this situation for a larger set of data, but let's see how we can sort by the store to find sales revenue. So first, we're going to create a little drop-down menu for the store. Um, to do that, you go to Data, Data Validation, and then we will add a rule for uh, cell C15. And for the criteria, we're going to do drop down from a range. So we're going to select the range of stores, hit OK. And now we have a drop down list here, and we can select any of these stores. And we'll select uh, LA Foot Store for our example. Okay, down over here, X out of this. And now we're going to enter our XLOOKUP function. So we'll type in equals XLOOKUP and then open our parentheses. So, so first we're going to find the search key. And the search key is this cell we just entered the drop down list, the store. And then we'll add a comma. And now we're going to do the lookup range. And for this case, the lookup range is the store. So we're going to highlight all the stores, enter a comma. So the search key, as we entered first, is right here under cell C15. And it looks up that search key within the range, in the lookup range. So now it knows LA Foot Store is the search key within the lookup range. And the result it will return we want it to be from the sales revenue range. So we're going to highlight E2 to E13, then hit enter. And you can see that the LA Foot Store has sales revenue of 1.53 million. And you can validate that here. And th this is really common for a larger sheet of data where it's not as easy to, to determine this. Um, if we click on Another one, say top kicks, should be 841,000, and it returns it as such. That's about it for the purpose of our video on XLOOKUP. Um, that's kind of the beginner's tutorial. As you can see, there are a few other things that are optional to add to an XLOOKUP function. If you'd like me to do a full video on it, I would be happy to. And if there are any other uh, videos or tutorials you'd like to see from me in the future, please leave a comment and suggest them. Um, as always, thank you for your time and watching, and I'll see you in the next one.